It's the Eagle Community Television Forum with your host, Gary Shorman. Hi, I'm Gary Shorman, and this is the Forum on Eagle Television. Good to have you watching. The program is brought to you by Hayes Med. We have a great guest today, and from Victoria, and her name is Connie Brown. Connie, good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Now, you're a teacher over in the Victoria School District. Uh, yes. How did you get into teaching? It's kind of a funny story. Um, when I was in high school, we didn't have these guidance counselors. They just said, okay, go do something. <laughs> and you know, that was a long that time ago. That was my ago. parents that said, go do something. Yeah, here I am. And so. really, back then, what did women do? Well, maybe you went to college as a backup. But you were going to get married and have kids, mm -hmm. still, I mm -hmm. mean. Yeah, that was it. But my mom, I said, well, what should I do? Everybody's asking me. She said, oh, why don't you be a home ec teacher? Because I was in 4-H, I knew all that stuff. I said, okay. So went on that path, eventually got into teaching, and I love it, so I got lucky. And your mom would be sitting there going, how proud is this? Yeah, yeah. she getting... never knew that that was going to lead to this, <laughs> but that's, that's as much thought as went into it, but it worked out good for me. Well, one of the things we want to talk about on today's program is FCCLA. And I yes. saw that acronym, it's like, exactly what is FCCLA? And it sort of perked my interest in to mm -hmm. find out what that is. But I understand you do a fabulous job of running that organization over the Victoria High School. What is the organization and what do they do? Okay, it stands for Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. So it's the only student-led organization that focuses on the family. Um, and it's a chance for those students to become leaders within their school and to help their community and to develop career skills. It covers it all. So there's well, something for everybody. Well, you talk about that because you, you do family, you do careers, you do community. All those things tie into what you do every day. If you're in business, if you're in the yes. working world, if you're you know uh, working in the home, right? You tie into all of those. It things. doesn't matter. We, it covers it all. I was trying to match it with something, and FHA That's what was it what used it to used be. to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I was involved in high school in an FHA class. Okay. And so they they rounded a group of us up and said, "Hey, you need to go take one hour of this," and ended up learning, you know, going through some cooking things and some of that. Right. But it was basically focused on being a homemaker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This sounds like it's greatly expanded and really doesn't reach too much of that anymore. Right. Well, we've taken it a step higher. Um, everybody really will be a homemaker, but now we, want, we wanted to start including the fellows, because at first that was all it was, it was young ladies, but now it's for everybody, because everybody's going to hopefully have a home and a career, and most cho choose to have families, and we want to be leaders in our community, so it's for everybody. Who signs up for that, or, or in Victoria, how many do you have compared to the number of students you have? And all I that? have 60 members this year out of 81 students. Um, wow. We want them all. There are definitely students that want to take advantage of all the levels of FCCLA, and they sign up, they're gung-ho, let's do this. Um, and then there are students that want to just be members that are involved in maybe the community service. And then there are members, we do fun things too. I mean, mm -hmm. to have a high school organization, you need to have the fun stuff in there too. And there are some that just want to be a part of that fun, but they get to learn about it too. So they're really, anybody that wants a, an organization to be a part of, that's the one for them. When you talk about FCCLA, do they come to a class or is this an after school activity or how does it that work? It is an after school activity. Um, I do try to incorporate it into the classroom as much as possible. Um, I teach family and consumer sciences, which we did used to call home economics. Um, so some of it I can do within the classroom if everything works out, if all the stars align and these kids want to do this project and they're in this class and it aligns with that. My parenting class last year I had a focus on children event and so we came up with a dudes and dolls dance and a lads and ladies league for the, the, the child and their, their father or mother and so I, we learned about development and we put that together and then did that after school. Well you know it's interesting because so many things in today's world you know, just go out to technology or different things. This actually brings it back home to things that we really should be doing every day as well. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. It's, it's very important and I'm motivated by the kids. They come up with these ideas and I say, take a big breath and say, <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do because their ideas just spur me on. Now, it's bigger than just Victoria though, correct? It is. It's Tell a me national, about where it is. Okay. It's a national organization, um, 164,000 across the nation. Um, there is a sister organization in Japan and they have an exchange program. Um, once a year they pick 16 kids from the United States to go over there for the summer and then two of those students come here and spend a year here. Um, so it's in every state, um, open to, to everybody. Well, it's exciting to see kids have an interest. Have you been surprised at how good the kids are at doing some of these projects? Uh, 
they amaze me all the time. They really do. Um, and one idea spurs another idea, spurs another idea. Um, so it's just, it's just so exciting. And sometimes they need a little bit of push and all, so I try not to you know, be a downer and say, okay, I think we can do this. What if? What if? And then let their brains keep clicking. It has to come from them. I just, I can't push it. It's got to come from their heart or it won't turn out anyway. Boy, it sounds like fun, Connie. We're going to take a break, come back. I want to talk a little bit about what, what your class is like and what else you teach during okay. the day. And then talk about Victoria High for just a little bit okay. because a lot of times we hear about other schools, especially around the Hayes area. I want to hear about Victoria High and some of the things that you're okay. doing over there. Great. Our guest is Connie Brown. You're watching The Forum on Eagle Television. Hayes Med is your first and best choice for health care. They're the only facility providing tertiary level services in this region. With more than 70 physicians and 26 specialties, ranging from heart, orthopedic, spine care, cancer, obstetrics and gynecology, wound care, rehabilitation and surgery, including the Da Vinci robotic surgery, Hayes Med is your comprehensive health provider for people throughout Western Kansas. Hayes Med, helping people be healthy. Are you frustrated with Wi-Fi dead zones in your home? It happens when you don't have Boost, the cutting-edge Wi-Fi solution from Eagle Communications. A Boost-certified Eagle technician maps your home, then installs a dual-band modem and router, plus discreet access points to deliver wall-to-wall Wi-Fi with no dead zones. Boost powers all your family's devices in all the places you love to live. Get Boost. Wi-Fi made simple. Only from Eagle Communications. Call today. Welcome back to the second half of our forum here on Eagle Television. Our guest is Connie Brown. We are going to look for different ideas that are out there that you might have. Send me a note, gary.shorman at eaglecom.net. I'd like to hear from you. We'll find some great guests like Connie that you might have and you might be thinking about as well. You can also go online. You'll find us on Facebook under ECTV Forum. ECTV Forum on Facebook. You can send me a note there as well. Again, Connie Brown is our guest here. She's a teacher over at Victoria High School. We went into the break talking about coming back and saying, okay, tell me a little bit about your day job of teaching because you do more than just the after school and the FCCLA. Right. Um, I start with an intro class and I have seventh graders and that is a great way to start my day. Um, they are sweet and got lots of energy, but I love that. I love that. And so that's a little bit of a uh, mixture of everything. Um, everything from friendships and how to shake somebody's hand to making an apron to learning about the nutrients hmm. and, and making some basic things. I only have them for a semester, so it's really fast. Um, and then I have a couple parenting classes, which is my favorite class because if we had training for all of our future parents, we'd have a much better world. Um, so I get to have a lot of fun in that. And then we have a program that those students become a mentor for a grade schooler. I call it Nights for Tykes. Yes. Um, we're just getting ready to start that up for this year. And so they get to be a mentor um, as well as learn about the development in my class. So we go every other week down to the grade school for that hour that they have me. Well, tell so. a little bit about the school in Victoria, too. How big is it? Uh, what's it like for somebody who may not have been to the Victoria High School? Uh, tell it's, me about it. It's a 1A school, so it's not real big. We have 81 high schoolers in our school, but the middle school is with us as well. So 7 through 12 are in our building. Um, Everybody knows everybody. Mm -hmm. um, a student can't get lost in our school. There's, we all care about them. We tell them that all the time. We want them to all succeed. We don't want anybody to fall through the cracks or not graduate. So everybody's there for them. Now, one of the things we will also want to talk about is with the FCCLA, they have some events coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have a couple of those throughout the year. You have a couple coming up that are going to be actually over in Victoria, correct? Right. We have our fall leadership conference. Um, What's that mean? It, this is a conference that you bring, especially your new members, and they learn um, about all the programs that are in FCCLA. They see their classmates up there being or in a leadership role. Um, I have the district president from Victoria. I also have a state officer from Victoria, and they will both be on stage. They actually plan that conference. We do get mm -hmm. in a keynote speaker, um, so I'm excited about that. But then I have a couple other student leaders who are putting on workshops. Um, one of them from a couple of my students is called Stop the Violence. And they will talk about, in, in this case, um, not violence like gun violence. In this case, it's going to be dating violence. And so mm. they'll put together a workshop. We're working on that next week um, to put that together. And the students will rotate and see their peers, except for the keynote speaker, um, teach them about FCCLA or what we call national programs like Stop the Violence. 
Wow, uh, great programs for kids in high school. And there's also the whole region as well. Are mm -hmm. you gonna be doing some things in the region? Do you head up the regional part of it, if I understand it right? Our state is divided into districts, and I'm in District B, and I'm the district advisor That's this for year. Big. Is that for big district? No. <laughs> um, honestly, it's 10 schools. Okay. Um, kind of spread out all the way from Smith Center to Hoisington. Um, we're, so we're all about the same size, so that's nice. Um, and it is on a rotation basis, so um, I'm, I'm taking my turn. Um, but we'll host that, and then the students get ready for their STAR events. That stands for Students Taking Action with Recognition. But these are their projects that they develop, and they compete at the district level first. And if they win there, they head on to state. And if they win there, they go on to nationals. Well, before the program, we talked a little bit about maybe you coming back and talking about the STAR program that the, the kids were doing. And what, what do they do? I mean, what do the kids, when they have a STAR program, what do they do? Uh, everything, any, anything and everything. Um, they could do a job interview, which is very much like you think it is, except they had to cre uh, create a portfolio, and they'll go through that portfolio with the judges and then go through an interview. Um, or they've created a project. Um, our Focus on Children is one, and they created a dance for the uh, girls and their dad, and then an event for the grade school boys and their moms. And then we had fill-in nights the boys in our club, and then we had fill in lady nights if they didn't have one or the other to bring with them. So they created that project, they put together a speech, a board, and presented it, and those girls went all the way to nationals this year. Wow, did they teach you how to dance too? <laughs> maybe a little, <laughs> maybe a little. They're good dancers over there. <laughs> yeah, that may be, that'd be a good thing for me to be on, in on that dance lesson part yeah. of things, so that's good. Well, Connie, thanks for being on our program because what I like about this program is we get to talk to people who do really amazing things and appreciate your leadership work because I know that's in addition to all the other things you do in the classroom to help students over there. So thanks for your leadership there. Look forward to hearing back about one, how the thing comes in October and how that turns out and also the STAR program and how that works. Okay, awesome. It's nice to meet you. Connie Brown has been our guest here on the forum on Eagle Television. It's brought to you by Hayes Med and by Eagle Communication, our community connected. It's a beautiful day in our super high-speed internet great customer service neighborhood. Like you, this is where we live. In fact, our company is employee-owned, so it's our goal to improve the quality of life for everyone in our community by delivering faster, more reliable internet, clearer, more feature-laden phone service, quality TV channels, all with the level of customer service you'd expect from people who are your neighbors. Eagle Communications, our community connected.